Hello and welcome to Rick Hockey Fridays from the Dennis M. Lynch Arena presented by Anchor TV. The old adage in sports goes, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. And this Anchorman hockey squad right now is the personification of that creed. Ryan Huber, Brad Conway, Marco Scotti, Nick Bruno, and Mike Martinelli have all been stalwarts defensively with this team giving up 18 goals in seven appearances on the ice so far this year. Not to be forgotten is the brick wall goalie Vinny Tadino, who in five starts is averaging 2.2 goals against with a sterling 93% save rate. Tonight, the anchorman will be tested by the tough, tough jumbos who travel down from Boston for tonight's class. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jared Ware, flanked as always by anchor hockey beat writer Sam Allen. Sam, what are your thoughts on tonight's game? The guys want to win this one. This team is not up to the skill level as we are. They lost to the team on the road last year, so the guys don't want to have to go through that loss again. They want this win. Now, obviously, we broadcasted last Friday. There have been games in between. Let the people know how those games have gone uh, in between last Friday night and tonight. We ended up coming home with another tie. The guys tied New Haven 4-4 four to four on the road. The team was actually up 4-1 to one going into the third period. New Haven brings the crowd to all of their games, and the crowd just took over, and the guy, the New Haven was able to get three goals in a row, and nothing happened in overtime. One of the issues coming into tonight's game for the anchorman is there's a few personnel changes tonight. Can you touch upon those for the people at home? Um, Mike, Na Mike, Mike Nadiger is actually no longer on the team with us. We also lost freshman Nick DeFusco, and Ryan Martins will not be playing in this game tonight due to a game disqualification on Saturday, which means his line of with him, Young, and Mora is actually going to change, and Frankie Vanny, a freshman, is going to step into that line. So we have about 15 seconds here before we send it down for the national anthem and starting lineups. As always, you throw down a prediction before the game. What's your call tonight? We've seen two games where we've gotten six goals, so I'm thinking we're getting six. I'm going to go with six to one and not have the broadcaster jinx. I don't want to jinx Vinny down there, so I'm going with six to one. So the three-peat of the six-pack here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena just about set here. Warm-ups are done. Players talking to the coaches. Set to send it down to the ice for the net playing of the national anthem as well as the introduction of the starting lineup for both the Tufts University Jumbos and the Rhode Island College Anchorman. Thank you again for tuning in. Jared Ware and Sam Allen here. Let's send it down to the ice. So the starting lineups are set inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. The Rhode Island College Anchorman taking on the Tufts University Jumbos. Anchorman having a good season so far. The two times we've been here, as Sam mentioned, we've seen six goals from the Anchorman's offense. As we mentioned in the intro, the defense has been great, specifically the penalty kill, which was an issue uh, or, or a problem area that the coaches had coming into this year. It's been fantastic up to this point. 
Uh, let's hope tonight they continue that good stretch. So starting out on the ice tonight for the anchorman, Alex Lyman, Seth Tobias, Cody Warnock, the probably the best offensive line for this anchorman squad, as well as Brad Conway and Marco Scotti on defense. On the ice to start out the night for the Jumbos is number 16, Charlie Brickley, number 25, S Seth Hurwitz, and number 20, Max Iceberg. And defensively, we're going to see number 6, Derek Moody, as well as number 8, which may be, Derek, which may be Seth Hurwitz. No, we, I got that wrong. Okay. <laughs> we don't know who number 8 is. He's not on the roster. Warnock's got it. He had Lyman in the middle, just threw a shot in there. It's going to be kept in by Marco Scotti, who throws it in the direction of the net. Have to mention Ralph Faya in the net for Tufts University, as well as Vinny Tadino in the net for the anchorman. Scotty up to Warnock, leaves it for Lyman down the right boards. Lyman thought about dropping off for a second in the direction of Warnock. Played out to Conway across to Scotty. Loose pass there, but Scotty corrals it. Picked up in the corner, back to Conway. Conway fires it in. Faya loses the rebound. I think he fell on top of it there. Nearly an opportunity right in the goal mouth for Alex Lyman to poke home. Just another goal by Alex Lyman to add to his goals for the season. Early pressure from the anchorman there nearly pays off. We've seen a lot of early goals in the two games we've been here so far. Within the first two to three minutes, yep. we've seen goals. So nearly there we got a repeat as Brett Moore is set to take the face off for the anchorman. Tufts has it for a moment. Charlie Brickley, excuse me. That's Josh Golubovsky in the corner. Bruno fires in a shot, kicked away by Faya. Puck still loose. Tough struggling to clear it. Huber down into the corner. Back up top to Huber. Huber tried to get it over to Bruno. Puck bouncing around. panone has got it. Stolen away at the last moment there by Chad Larkham. Tufts looking to get their first offensive attack started, and they lose it at, at center ice. Brett Mora picks it up for the anchorman. Skates down the right flank, throws it towards Faya, who kicks it into his glove there and covers it up. So we're going to get a stoppage of play here. 18.37 left. And in a stark comparison to last game, no fight so far. So <laughs> There we go. Also no goals either. This is the first time I've we've seen a game where there hasn't been a goal yet. Brian Luther going to take the face off. And the first time we're going to see Giancarlo Pannone take the ice, filling in for Mike Nadiger, who stepped away from the team. Tufts again, struggling to break out offensively. TJ Jack has got it down the right, throws one into the chest of Faya, rebounds loose again. Faya having trouble handling those shots. Brian Luther was looking to pick up that loose puck. It, there's a scrum in the corner now. I believe that's Brickley battling the bright red pants of Charlie Brickley. <laughs> Panone, cross ice pass in the direction of Mike Martinelli. See how that defensive partnership pans out throughout the game here. Brickley's got it in the corner for Tufts. Panone intercepts. Jack Boney battling in the corner with Brinkley. Brickley, excuse me. Martinelli's going to give chase to the loose puck here. Gets it across to Panone. Giancarlo Panone. There's two Panones on the <laughs> on the Anchorman team. No relation, Sam? Or are they related? I don't think so. I haven't been told otherwise. Mark Iceberg's got it now for Tufts. He's going to take it alone. Three Anchorman steal the puck away from him. Good defense there again. Shot. Nearly a miscommunication there between Marco Scotti and Vinny Tadino. No harm, no foul, and the Anchorman stay out of trouble. 0-0 zero, zero early in this one. Larry Anthony's got it. Takes it down the right. Anchorman doing most of their damage so far down the right right side of the ice. Stolen away nicely by Chad Larkham for the Jumbos. And the Jumbos are going to start their attack down this left side. Dumped in by number 23, Jimmy Matthews. Tadino stops the puck. N loose pass there. Was looking for Conway in the corner. Again, Tufts can't take advantage. I think that's the most action Vinny has seen all night. Larry Anthony cross ice pass in the direction of Alex Rosniak. What, what's Rosniak? Rosniak. Again, another <laughs> anchorman that we're seeing for the first time this year. He slipped while trying to control it there and covered up by Faya. We're going to get a line change here by both teams. So a couple new faces on the ice tonight for the anchorman. Definitely. We're going to see how these freshmen step up. Seth Tobias is going to take the face off. Brickley's got it. Scotty at the at the point. Tobias try to get it down the get it down the boards in the direction of Warnock over to Lyman 
Lyman working behind. That looked like a trip there. It did. <laughs> Nothing called. Lyman's got it. Back up to Conway. Conway's going to take the shot. Puck's bouncing around. Anchorman can't turn it home. Lyman had a chance again in the crease. Brickley's got it for the Jumbos. Stolen away by Warnock. Dumped in. Seth Hurwitz for the Jumbos is going to skate out with it. Another loose pass by the Jumbos. Scotty across to Conway. Dumped in again by the Anchorman. Fire's going to stop it. The Jumbos have been on defense this entire game so far, seemingly the first five minutes of this one. Conway's got it again for the Anchorman. Derek Moody now gives it off up to Max Iceberg. We want to apologize here. Tufts has got a player wearing number eight right now. We don't have that on the roster. So we're just going to have to refer to him as defender number eight. We're going to have to go like we'll NCAA football out. video <laughs> game style where they don't have the names. I'll go figure that out in between periods. Bruno at the point. Fires one in. Nearly deflected off the stick of Derek Moody. That could have caused some serious problems for Ralph Faya. Huber at the point. Slap shot. Knocked away. Bruno tr whiffed on that wrist shot attempt. Cleared away by Tufts. Only as far as Huber. Huber's got it in the neutral zone. Tried playing it off the boards to Frank Vani. Frank Vani, my bad. <laughs> Huber's got it now. One of those great defenders on this Anchorman squad right now. They've been so solid throughout the year. This is Pablo Jimenez in <laughs> possession right now for Tufts. I took Spanish in high school. <laughs> I can roll that. <laughs> Huber attacking the net. Faya. Again, another juicy rebound. That's going to cause some serious problems tonight as that was just flicked in. I believe that was number 18, Brian Luther. Deflected all over the joint. Now it's going to be knocked out. We're going to get a stoppage of play here. 14.25 left in the first period. 0-0 here. Usually we get a breakneck start. This one a little slower, calculated. Possession dominated by the anchorman. Seems like that first goal is coming. Faya is struggling right now to control that first shot. I think one of those rebounds is going to get prodded home sooner rather than later, but we shall see. I think so. There's only so many pucks you can sit on. Chad Larkham is going to step into the faceoff circle for the Jumbos as well as I believe that's Brian Luther in there. Larkham gets a <laughs> diving shot off, trying to go Bobby Orr there <laughs> into the glove of Vinny Tadino. This team will learn quickly you don't go glove side on Vinny. He's just going to catch it. That's one of the themes of this Anchorman team is don't go glove side on Vinny Tadino. As solid as anyone can get with that piece. Mark Natalizia battling with Larkham in the corner for it. Knocked away there. I believe that was by number 26, Ryan Nelson, who stepped up, poked it away. Natalizia's got it now. He can fly if you give him some open ice. Reth gets in the way there. Luther picks up possession, dumps it in. And this is going to be cleared away by Ryan Nelson. Martinelli's got it now for the anchorman. Goes cross ice carefully to Giancarlo Pannone. Pannone dumps it in. Faya gets a stick on it. Again, a little sloppy there by the Jumbos. TJ Jack Voney's got it now. As I believe that was Larry Anthony who just got cleared out of the crease by Faya. He's not afraid to get physical <laughs> in there. No, not at all. That's his house. Dumped in by Jimmy N Jimmy Matthews for the Jumbos. Martinelli's got it. Line change for the Jumbos. A big hit there on the boards by Brian Luther before he goes off. Anchorman have it now through Spencer Rose. His first appearance on the ice, I believe. Stolen away at center ice by Larry Anthony. Tried to get past Brickley. Couldn't. Anchorman still have it through Giancarlo Pannone. Now Larry Anthony's got it. Slapped in by Mora. And again, Faya drops it with the glove. No anchorman there to clean up. One of the early themes in this game so far. I have to say it's weird being in a game where you get a shot on net and there's no fist thrown after. Yeah, especially <laughs> after last game where that was just about every shot there was a brawl after. Brickley's got it for the Jumbos. The Jumbos have a short roster, so these guys are going to be playing a lot of minutes tonight. Let's see late in the game how their legs hold up. Spencer Rose is going to pick it up in the corner for the Anchormans. Hit there by number eight. 
Again, we don't have his name or number, <laughs> so can't give him any credit. Scotty. Scotty and Conway playing a little uh, little game of catch together. He almost oh. kept in there by Scotty. The puck gets knocked away, given chase by Alex Ros Rosniak. Rosniak. Close? I think it was Rosniak. Rosniak, Rosniak, Rosniak. We apologize. Rosniak. I'm going to get it. I got it. Rosniak. Marco Scotty's got it now, looking to go all by himself, and I think we're going to get a trip there on Derek Moody. It looked like, though, that Scotty just stepped on the puck and actually tripped over himself I there, so, so I don't know about that call. We had a good angle up here, but we don't make the decisions, and no. I have no problem with it because exactly. the angle. It puts us a guy strong. Fine by me. First power play of the game. Our power play has been really strong this year, so I'm hoping to see either a goal or just keep it the same. Tobias Warnock Lyman on the ice as the forwards. We're also going to see Brett Mora, excuse, yeah, Brett Mora, as well as Ryan Huber on the ice. Brett Mora, versatile. He can play forward or defenseman, and you'll see him do both tonight, I believe. It's always a good player to have on your team, someone that can play any position you put him in. Mora's got it now. He's got some ice and lifts that shot up over the glass there. A little wild. Had a little bit of space there to get one on frame, but pressure there by defender number eight for Tufts. Still a minute 40 left on the power play. Tobias is going to take the face off. One there in the center circle by Seth Hurwitz for the Jumbos. Kept in by Brett Mora. Cross ice to Huber. Thought about the shot for a moment. Spins around. Goes back to Mora. Anchorman prodding away at this jumbo power play, uh, this jumbo penalty kill. Flicked into the back of the net by Alex <laughs> Lyman, and he scores once again. <laughs> he cannot stop scoring for he this Anchorman team. He has 10 goals on the season this year. Alex Lyman is, I don't, I don't know. He's it's just the scorer. 10 goals, eight games for the Anchorman this year. Just an unbelievable rate right now for Alex Lyman. And that first line for the Anchorman just producing and producing game after game. Unbelievable stuff from them as Alex Lyman risks one home at 11.25 in the first period. And the Anchorman have a well-deserved lead here. They've been dominating this first half. The Tufts reeling right now, looking to get back into this one. Larry Anthony nearly, or excuse me, Brian Luther nearly won that behind the net. Brickley looking to get it clear for the Jumbos, and he can't. Only finds Luther. Natalizzi has got it. Wrist one, it, wrist one wide right of the post. Faye has been under pressure all night long. Vinny Tadino, well, he's been all by himself. <laughs> it's a lonely job playing goalie with it this is. anchorman defense in front of you. They do a great job keeping pucks away from the crease. Maybe he can bring his homework next class. <laughs> I think it also helps that uh, they he played with Scotty and Bruno all through high school. So I think having two defensemen who you've played with for a few more years actually helps you out. Natalizia slicing through the jumbo defense. A last-minute poke check from Ryan Nelson stops that solo bit of skating. Conway fires one in, kicked away by Faya. Her with, uh, excuse me, Nelson has that for the jumbos. Brickley's got it on the left wing. Tadino throws it up against the boards. Brickley wrists one into the chest of Tadino. Can only knock it away. Can't control it. Natalizzi has got it. Spencer Rose here <laughs> through center ice. Throws one off the boards. Cleared away by defender number eight. Brickley now, who's had a lot of the puck so far in this game for the Jumbos, stands out with the red gloves and red <laughs> pants. Now Pablo Jimenez. He's going to take on the anchorman defense by himself, and he's going to find no joy there. <laughs> Brendan Belisle seeing the ice for the Anchorman first time in tonight. Possession there. Martinelli, yeah, Brendan Belisle. So we've seen at least three or four Anchorman yeah. making their first appearance. The first two games we were here was a pretty solid lineup, but as we mentioned in the intro, some personnel changes here. Anchorman lineup's been shaken up, and they look just as good. Thrown in there just haphazardly by, the, by Tufts, kicked away by Tadino. Jimenez has it. Again, no really semblance of an offense or any sort of offensive attack from the Jumbos to this point. We're about 11 minutes into this game so far. Jumbos coaches are going to have to figure it out during this first intermission here or look to get something going in this last eight minutes. Only down one. I don't think it helps the Jumbos that they only have six guys on their bench. Yes. 
And it's still early in this game, as I mentioned. We'll see how those legs hold up late in the second and into the third period. Belisle into the corner to Pannone. Two new guys, 33-34. Pannone ends up on the, I mean, excuse me, Belisle ends up on the ice there. Defender number eight now for Tufts. Flicks one in high. I believe that's going to go out of play, so we're going to get a stoppage here. Have barely called the names of the forwards <laughs> tonight for Tufts. It's been all defense for them. Now putting together a little sustained period of possession here on the attack. Anchorman defense, though, look, Anchorman defenseman looking great so far. Face off is going to be won by Mora, who's now playing forward. We saw him on the power play play defenseman, so that's just his versatility. Mike Young on the ice. First time I've called his name tonight as Brickley fires one in. Huber's going to clean that up behind the net. Brickley doing a nice job on the four check there, but Morris got it now. Lost possession of it briefly. The anchormen have it. Just chuck forward into center ice. Mike Young's got it. Leaves it for Mora, who flicks one, deflected away off the body of Josh Golubovsky. Kept in by Ryan Huber. Been nothing but impressed with Ryan Huber playing defense so far this year. Nikki Bruno was looking to get in on the scoring action, looking to go low right, kicked away by Faya. Mike Young on the left. Brett Moore now skating it up, gonna go, thought he was gonna pass that one to Bruno, decides to go himself with a shot in a slot and gloved by Ralph Faya. First clean save, one of the first clean yeah. saves in the night by Ralph Faya. I have to say, it was a nice save. You gotta give it to the other team sometimes. Yeah, good glove save there. 7.41 left here in the first period. 1-0, Anchorman lead. Who else? Alex Lyman with the goal. <laughs> that line back on the ice. Tobias, Lyman, Warnock. Conway's got it. Shot deflected off Golubovsky. Scotty's going to get to the loose puck first. Fired it over in the direction of Conway. Jimenez was putting pressure on him. Here's Lyman, the goal scorer. He wants another. Dumps it off beautifully oh. for Cody Warnock. The blocker, oh it gets man. in the way from Ralph Fire. Beautiful bit of play there by the anchorman. That's a pass you only can do when you've been playing with someone for your entire life. Almost a telepathic relationship between those two as Scotty fires one in, kicked away by Faya. Warnock's got it, leaves it for Scotty. Does a nice job there, skating away from the defense, and that one nearly got kicked in off the skate of, I believe, Pablo Jimenez. Cody Warnock throws it back into the zone. Josh Golubovsky cannot clear that. Picked off by Marco Scotti. Off the post oh, by Marco Scotti. Cut into the slot. Went with the wrist shot left side. Got under the arm of Faya, but rattles the post, and it stays 1-1. Or stays 1-0, excuse me. Luther's got it now for the anchorman in the corner. Dumps it off towards Natalizia. Fire tries getting the poke check there. Can't. Natalizia in possession. Conway now. Shot deflected, I believe, off number 20, Max Iceberg, for the Jumbos. Battling in the corner. It's Jack Voney. It's Hurwitz. Or, excuse me, Nelson. Natalizia is in there. Conway dumps it in again. Luther giving chase. Luther gets to the red line. Tried put one in. I believe, I believe Fire got a kick to that. Scotty, he's got space to shoot. Fires one five hole again. Good job getting down by Faya. And it's going to be knocked out of play there off the stick of Parker Smith. Ralph Faya has been busy all night. Early on in this one, I'd love to see the stats on how many shots <laughs> on net. Vinny's just sitting. Vinny's just hanging out <laughs> down there. Getting a, getting a good stretch in. He's got to <laughs> do something to stay warm. Rose wins the face off for the anchorman. Pannone can't keep it in. It's going to slow down this attack for the anchormen who have just been dominant so far in this game. Only one goal, though, but it looks like another could be coming any minute. Now big hit there in the corner into the body of Ryan Nelson. I believe that was I believe that was Larry Anthony with that hit. Puck at center ice. Now Martinelli can't, take, can't control it. Larkham had it for a minute, and he's taken off the puck there with a nice little hit from Spencer Rose. Larry Anthony's got it on the right side, right underneath us now. Just bangs one off the board. Spencer Rose has got it in space. Flicks one, try to go top shelf. Shouldered away by Faya. Under increasing pressure as the minutes pile on here. Pannone tries keeping it in. Anthony battling for it. Brickley's got it now for Tufts. Cross ice 
cross ice look to Max Iceberg. Iceberg's going to take on this Anchorman defense. Three Anchorman surrounding him. Had his stick lifted briefly by Brett Moore. Got the shot off. Missed wide. Jumbo's looking to sustain attack here. Brett Moore uh, across the boards to Martinelli. And the Anchorman get out of danger once again. Rosniak battling at center ice with Brickley. Pannone calmly shuffles one to Huber. Huber looking cross ice in the direction of Rosniak. Brickley center ice, dumps it in. Tadino's going to come out of the crease. Thought about it for a second, but with Jimenez giving chase to the, pu uh, to the puck, decides to slide back into the crease, let his defense handle that loose puck. Nearly an inch perfect pass. A little too strong there in the direction of Moore off the stick of Huber. Fire cover, Fire covers up. one nothing. still 4-0-2. Stoppage to play here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Sam, what do you think so far this first period? I'm liking this game. I feel like the team is actually playing well, unlike last week. The team got the best of them last week with all the fights. So the team is actually playing like a team. Huber, Bruno, Bruno looking to get it down in the direction of Frank, Vi uh, Frank Vani. Behind the net, battling is Mike Young. He's got it in the corner. Up to the point, Huber takes the shot. Reached by it, but he gets the stick in front of it, covers it up again. We're going to get another face off here. Just been an early barrage shooting practice for the Anchorman <laughs> so far. Fly, though, he's done well. Only given up one so far, and it was on the power play. Yeah. So, Though it's been dominant, the Anchorman only have the one goal advantage. Mike Young struggled with possession there for a second. Able to keep it in. Mora up top to Bruno. Bruno's going to flick one in there. Kicked away by Faya. Mora across to Mike Young behind the net. Dumps it off for Mora. Tried to lift it top shelf a little too high. Just barely stayed in play. No, it didn't. Hit that netting. We're going to get another stoppage here. Line change here. Lyman, Warnock, Tobias. Step on to the ice. Really fun watching these three guys play hockey with Warnock and Lyman. The intricate play set to buy a solid. Puck picked up at center ice by Scotty. Looking in the direction of Cody Warnock. Lyman's got it now in the corner. Dumps one in front to, to Warnock and he. Wow. Was Thought he had that one. Was half shot, half pass in the direction of Tobias. <laughs> if it would have fallen at Tobias' stick, it would have been a tap in. Jimenez clears it. Parker Smith giving chase here, but I think he's going to lose it. It's going to be icing called on the jumbos. Like I said, as soon as these guys came on the <laughs> ice, that intricate passing between yep. those three, it's awesome to watch. They're always on it's the same great. page, read each other's play so well. They're a fun line to watch play, I have to say. You you would always bet on them to get a goal yeah. when they're on the <laughs> ice. Regardless of the situation, you would always bet that those one of those three guys yep. is going to put the puck in the back of the net. And you're going to get a great assist while they're out there as well. Warnock just shovels one towards goal off the backboards. Jimenez is going to pick it up for Tufts. Throws it off the boards. Martinelli's going to give chase. And we're going to get another icing called on the jumbos. Again, only six men on the bench for the jumbo. So a lot of these guys playing a lot of minutes. Jimenez has been on the ice a lot. Defender number eight's been on the <laughs> ice a lot. We've seen a lot of Brickley. Anchorman deep, able to rotate. You can see the advantage. Yep. Martinelli over to Warnock, off the skate of Tobias. Anchorman keep possession. Tobias has got it now. Thought about going cross ice to Pannone. It was deflected, picked up by Seth Hurwitz. Pablo Jimenez has it now for Tufts. Takes it down the right side, just throws one in towards Tadino, and he covers it up there. No harm, no foul. 2-14 in the first period, 1-0. Alex Lyman, again, his 10th goal of the year. Only eight uh, through about seven in about one-third games, he has 10 goals. So he's on a scoring yeah. tear right now. Those are some right good now. numbers. That line, again, of Tobias, Warnock, Lyman, been the catalyst of this Anchorman offense. Brian Luther has it now for the Anchorman. He's also been a good scorer this year for the Anchorman. Takes it down the left side. He's got Natalizia in front. Decides to go by himself. Puck loose. Natalizia was poking and prodding in the direction of Fire, Hitting those big ugly pads down there. <laughs> Covered up by Fire in the end. If Luther would have cut that one back into the middle, that could have been a tap been. in there for yep. Natalizia. 
but goal scorers can get greedy sometimes. You need to be to score goals. Over to Bruno. Bruno's going to flick one, deflect it off the, uh, off the skate of Ryan Nelson. Slap shot from Bruno, kicked away by Faya. This right point, regardless of who the defender is, they're getting a lot of shots from that spot. We've seen Bruno and Scotty throw a lot of shots in from there. So it's been an area of weakness for this Tufts defense and an area that the Anchorman are exploiting thus far. Natalizzi on the left now. Dumps it into Huber, who tried to go right back to Natalizzi. Intercepted there by Max Iceberg. Stoppage play here. I think that might have been an offside call. I think. I could be wrong. 122 left in the first period. You're watching Rick Hockey Fridays from the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Not live yet, but we're working on it. We'll get there. Each week we're getting <laughs> a little better. We got the music this week. We do. Eventually we'll be live, and Rick Hockey Fridays will be something special. Larry Anthony lost possession, cleared away by Tufts. Conway giving chase, and we're getting an icing called here. Got to give credit early to our great technical staff here with us every <laughs> week. Rob Sanchuri on the camera today. Shannon Carlson, as always, on graphics. Tom Lima heading the show, doing a number of different things, wearing many hats. And in the penalty <laughs> box is Nate Bissell, who we almost <laughs> lost <laughs> last <laughs> game with all the fights. Good to have him back. I'm glad he decided to... Uh, Come back and not leave us. Stolen away by Larkham. It's a two-on-one here for Tufts. Dumped into the chest of Tadino. It's a good hit by Scotty to get him out. Jimmy Matthews was breaking down the slot. A little one-sided there by Larkham. May have had an opportunity to tee up. Jimmy Matthews went for it alone. Stoned by Vinny Tadino. <laughs> and that happens a lot. He's not the first guy to be stopped by Tadino. He's been no. excellent. 93% save percentage this year by Vinny Tadino. That's excellent. Face off one briefly by Tufts. Kept in by defender number eight. We're going to get a whistle here as Hurwitz had possession. And Vinny saw the last of action for a little while as the teams head down to the other side of the ice. So we're going to get a face off here in the Tufts zone. 42 seconds left. A well-deserved 1-0 advantage by the Anchorman. They'd like to add, I think, one more before we go head to the first intermission here. Mora wins the faceoff. Scotty flicks one in, kicked away by Faya. Saw it late. Did a good job getting the block or the the uh, the leg pad on it. He's seen those shots from this right point a little late. If they could elevate those just mm -hmm. a bit, could see one of those sneak in. Scotty talking to our cameraman <laughs> Nate Bissell down in the penalty box. We haven't, we've only seen one penalty so far in this first period, which is in stark <laughs> contrast to about Very the different. One, we saw about one penalty every 10 seconds last game. Scotty throws one in, blocked away by Faya. Ryan Nelson looking to get it clear, kept in by Conway, goes across to Scotty. Good find down low to Young, and he misses wide. Great spot though by Scotty, went Close. cross ice. Defender number eight now. Big body defender number eight. Pretty big guy. <laughs> He's got it in the corner. He's just going to keep it there for the till the end of the first period. So at the end of one, Anchorman one, tough zero, Alex Lyman with his 10th goal of the year. We're going to step away for a moment, get a coach in here with Sam Allen. Stick around on Rick Hockey Fridays presented by Anchor TV. We're back with Coach Gwynn. Coach, we were talking a lot at the beginning of the game in our intro about the defense this year. You have two new additions with Huber and Sky to your defense. It seems to be strong. How do you feel about the defense this year? Well, we're still in a learning process with the young guys. Uh, they are very, very talented. They're going to do very well. They're going to be a strong part of this team going forward. Um, they have great skill. They have great puck movement. And most of all, they have good speed back there. Uh, they do have to build and develop the game uh, and learn from it. And once they gain that experience through about halfway through this year, you're going to really see them take control. I don't think you and I have talked about Vinny Tadino yet. He took over the position of starting goaltender this year. Seems to us he's doing a pretty good job. Hasn't picked up a loss yet. But that's from our perspective. Coach's perspective might be a little bit different. <laughs> well, the coaches is always looking for something to pick <laughs> on. so <laughs> And it holds true with Vinny. Uh, but Vinny has stepped into the role. I knew he could last year. I wanted to give him the experience and not so much dump on him. And, of course, the position in front of him, there was you know, no need to. Uh, he does have points to work on, and we've been developing him in practice.
practice, but he is very solid, and you can see that he plays very smart out there. He's a little bit smaller than compared to Bushy, but he can fill the net with his size and his angle, and he's done a good job so far this year, and we're very proud of what he's done. All right, well, thanks. We'll let you get back to your team. Good luck for the remainder of the game. Thanks. All right, we'll be right back with the second period and more Anchorman hockey. It is always a good time <laughs> here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena for as we bring you Rick Hockey Fridays presented by Anchor TV. After one period inside the Lynch, it's one nothing. Anchorman, dominant period. Sam, what's your take on that first 20 minutes of hockey? I thought it was a really good period. I kind of wish the team would have scored a little bit more, but we saw strong offense. We were seeing shot after shot. The times that Vinny did see a shot on him, it, he made a good save. So I definitely think the Rick Hockey team that we all know and love is back this week. Yes, as we saw, the goal from Alex Lyman, he's been a machine. He scores when he wants, seemingly. What's your take on that line of Tobias Warnock Lyman? It's to me, that's the most fun line to watch. You know you're going to see good passing, especially between Lyman and Warnock. You're going to see a goal most of the time when they're out there. That's a good line, and I really hope that the coaches decide to keep that together all year long. I, I think you will. I don't think you can break that line up at this point. The way that they've been scoring, the way that they've been helping each other out, creating goals and creating offense for this Anchorman team. As both teams take the ice here, we're going to get a short, a short warm-up. Looks like our atmosphere mic finally came back on there. <laughs> But we're inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Again, it's Rick Hockey Friday presented by Anchor TV. One period in the books, one nothing Anchorman looking to pick up another win here on this on the season, which has been nothing short of successful early still, not even at the Christmas break. We'll start seeing how this team's really going to shape up after we get back from Christmas break as they have a tough run of games after that. But right now, everything looking good. We saw the coaches talking about Vinny Tadino, who's been great so far tonight. Oh, yeah. Then he's a good one to have in net. You, when you see him in net, you feel safe. One of the themes in this game is the short, tough bench. Only six men on the bench at this point. Going to be interesting to see here late into this period how those legs hang, uh, hang in there for them. As obviously we know that the depth of this Anchorman squad is, is great. Yes. And I heard from Coach when I mentioned something to him before I interviewed him. I guess they have trimester exams at Tufts, so it's keeping some guys at home to study. Others, they like to play hockey. The old trimester, Johnson and Wales, yep. our local rivals. So we don't play, which is interesting, but we're set to start here. Tobias Lyman, Warnock on the ice, Scotty and Conway as well. Ready to go here as Conway has it in the corner across the boards to Scotty. Looking for Warnock. He's got it now. Gets away from Iceberg for a moment. And Luke Hanley clears it <laughs> away. So defender number eight is now Luke Hanley. We picked that up. Sam Allen doing a great job. One of the good beat reporters here as Warnock. Ooh. Had a shot in the slot, glove save by Ralph Faya. Good opportunity there early for Warnock. It was. Placed it well, just a good job by Fire getting the glove around it. So Tobias is going to skate into the circle. He's going to take on Hurwitz, wins it. Warnock throws one wide of the right post, or the left post, excuse me, of Fire thrown across the face. A goal there by Scotty. Warnock was in there, couldn't prod it home. Lyman's got her at center ice. Good job of Seth Hurwitz being a pest. <laughs> Tobias has it. Goes over to Lyman on the right. He loses possession. Cleared away only to center ice by Derek Moody. Conway up the boards. Faye is going to stop it behind the net. Moody giving chase. Pressured by Lyman. Moody's got it now for the Jumbos. Slapped in by Conway. Deflected off the chest of Moody. Morris got it in front, backhands it into the chest of Faya, knocked away, and Moody tries to clear it, can't. Conway intercepts. Warnock, shot deflected off Luke Hanley. He's been playing a lot of minutes in defense for the for Tufts. Battle in the corner between Va uh, Vanny, and I believe that was number six, Derek Moody. Hurwitz is in behind the net. Morris got it now. Plays it out to Bruno, throws one in, off, kicked away by Hurwitz. Huber now brings it into the attacking zone for the Anchorman. Gets away from Hanley. Fires one in towards Faya. Kicked away and covered up by Ralph Faya there. So we're going to stop at play here. 18-20. And again, the Anchorman dominating possession. I think Vinny's going to get bored again. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> change, of, 
change the scenery, but the same scenario there for him. No, no semblance of an attack so far from Tufts. It's going to be difficult uh, for them to break, uh, you know, to, to get on that quick counter with heavy legs. Bruno Huber's got it now. Brings it down the left side. Shot is going to be blocked by Chad Larkham. Tufts still can't get it out of the attacking zone. Anchorman forecheck has been good. Morris got it now. Tried playing it back off against the boards. Young trips over himself. Able to poke one in the direction of Huber who plays it back to Young. Young in the corner. Up to Huber. Huber takes a shot. Kicked away by Fire. Rebound nearly fell for Mora. Then Young's got a shot. Puck still loose out in front. Mora trying to prod it home. He can and it finally sneaks there in go. there. Faya was way out of his net there, out of the crease. That's got to be a goalie mistake there. Yep. I think they're going to give credit to uh, maybe Mike Young. It looks like he might get credit for that. It was a scrum in front of the net. Regardless, it goes in, and it's 2 nothing Anchorman. And as we've been saying all night, it looks likely that these goals are going to be coming. Mm -hmm. Sam, her prediction, six goals tonight. Uh, could happen. It could. Could happen. It could. Especially because Tufts is only going to get more tired as the game goes on. The more tired they get, the more goals we get to score. Tufts has not been in their attacking zone yet this period. We're about two and a half minutes in, so that, that's the one of the telling stats so far. They've been on defense all night long. The Anchorman just need to stay out of trouble here. The last thing they want to do is give away a cheap penalty, give away a power play, and allow Tufts to get back into this. But if they stay focused here, it looks like they can really pull away from the Jumbos. Natalizzi has got it now on the left wing, showing that speed. Goes across the boards in the direction of Jack Vo Jack Voney. Panone plays it back to Jack Voney. Wrists one in high, shouldered away by Faya. Picked up by Martinelli. Dropped one off towards Natalizia. I believe they gave that goal to I Ryan Huber. I think they did. Just got confirmation from Matt Furtado in the box. Maybe you've seen him on Rick Center, <laughs> one of the new shows on Anchor TV. Covered up there by Faya. Uh, not not the most ferocious shot there off the no. stick of TJ Jack Boney. Easy save tonight for Faya. I, I gotta s I mean I'd love to see how many shots and how many saves Faya's had to make through yeah. a period in four minutes. At and then compare and then compare oh. that to about three from Vinny Tadino as Martinelli's got it now. He's got space to take a shot, decides to skate a little deeper into the zone and lose his possession. Tufts looking to get into the attacking zone here. Jimenez is giving chase. He's finally got it here. No, he doesn't. Tufts still hasn't had possession, and we're going <laughs> to get a penalty here, I believe, or is I'm not stoppage here. The refs have a decision it's to a make. It's a penalty on Looks like it's gonna Giancarlo Pannone. Giancarlo Pannone. Only the second penalty of the game here. One earlier by Tufts. Anchorman able to take advantage of the power play and get a goal through Alex Lyman. Ryan Huber just poked home another. 2 nothing. but as I just mentioned, that's the last thing the Anchorman coaching staff wanted was a power play here that could help the Jumbos get back into this. Larry Anthony's going to skate in to take, on, take the face off against Jimmy Matthews. Cleared away only as far as Luke Hanley. Jimenez has it now. Jimenez slows it up. Goes back up top to Hanley. Hanley back to Jimenez. Hanley again. He's going to rip one. Kicked away by Tadino. He saw that one late. Moody now for the Jumbos. Dumps it into Jimmy Matthews. He was looking cross ice towards Jimenez. Hanley now. Jimenez. Larry Anthony making himself an annoyance. Again, a shot into traffic. Deflected off. I believe that might have been off Jimmy Matthews. Anchorman so. trying to clear. Derek Moody's going to give chase. Spencer Rose also putting pressure on. Now this is Parker Smith for the Jumbos down the left. Cross ice to Jimenez at the point. He's going to dump it in. Parker Smith, good little bit, good little hit there by Marco Scotti. He's not afraid to drop a shoulder into someone's chest. He can no. lay the wood. Jimenez now up to Parker. Back to Jimenez. Plays it off the boards. Looking for Seth Hurwitz. Good job in defense there, but I believe that's Brad Conway. Hurwitz into the chest of Tadino. He's got to dive to cover it up, but does. So 45 seconds left on this penalty kill here. Slow build up here by the Jumbos. Looking for a good opportunity there. 
half chance there from Hurwitz. A tough angle. Good job by Tonino covering that angle, getting his chest in the way of that. Hurwitz and Natalizio with the face off at the point here. Shot blocked by Natalizio. He's got speed, wants to pick that loose puck up. Brian Nelson had to be careful there, had mm -hmm. to get that right because Mark Natalizia was bearing down. Could have found himself one-on-one -on -one with the goalie there. He has enough speed to do it. And that's going to be lifted out of play by Ryan Huber for the anchorman. So only 25 seconds left on this power play here for the Jumbos. Looking to get back into this one. This is a big opportunity for them, a huge penalty kill for the anchorman. Don't want to give away momentum here. Brickley's got it in the corner. Up top. Back to Brickley. Brickley gives it right back to Ryan Nelson. Over to Brickley. N still nothing here from Tufts. Shot fired in. Crowd in front of Tadino. Did a good job kicking that away. Natalizzi has got it. Natalizzi with the speed. Flicks one in towards Faya. Off his glove into open ice. No one there for the anchorman to poke home a rebound. And Panone pops out of the penalty box. We're back to full strength. And another good penalty killed by the Rhode Island College anchorman. Definitely. They've been strong all year with that. That's one thing you need. You can be good with power plays, but you need a good penalty kill. Huber chasing the puck, picks it up, throws it off the boards to himself. Breaking down the right here. He's got three blue shirts around him, still going to take them all on. Nelson gets a little bit of a little bit of a hit in there. Picked up by Warnock. Warnock's going to play it out to Conway, right back to Warnock in the corner. Good bit of stick handling there by Warnock. Fires the shot into the glove of Ralph Faya. Good bit of stick handling there by Cody Warnock to get himself in position to take a shot. Ralph Faya again rises to the occasion and gets the glove in the way. Opportunities, though, coming thick and fast for the anchorman, not so much for the jumbos. No. Frank Vanny's going to take the face off for the anchorman. Won it. Still battling away against that Tufts defense. Tufts has been resilient. We have all freshmen out on our forward line right now. Puck, puck in the corner, picked up by Moody for the Jumbos. Nice hit there by Alex Rosniak. Tadino has to do a little bit of work there, unfamiliar from him in this game. <laughs> Conway, pass nearly intercepted by Hanley, shot in by Larkham, and that's going to be gloved by Vinny Tadino. 13.25 left here in the second period, 2-0 Rick. Goals through Alex Lyman and Ryan Huber so far for the anchorman. Vinny Tadino's been immense again in the, well, uh, immense <laughs> in the shots that he's had to face. Yeah. But as always, he's been solid. Ralph Faya, on the other hand, he's been on fire <laughs> as he's had to stop just a litany of shots so far from the anchorman as Warnock leaves one for Lyman. Lyman back across the face. A goal. Pucks floating around. <laughs> knocked out of play there. Again, that quick passing from this line of Tobias, Lyman, and Warnock. Just giving this Tufts defense fits. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to go to sleep tonight, and they're going to see 6, 11, <laughs> and 21 floating Probably. around in their dreams. All right, I don't know if that's a dream. You might have to categorize that <laughs> as a, a nightmare. nightmare. Parker Smith can't get it clear. Again, good job there on the forecheck by Alex Lyman. He's going to keep it in the attacking zone here. Finally cleared away by Tufts. Marco Scotty tried getting a glove on it. Jimmy Matthews is giving chase, and we're going to get an icing called on the Jumbos. So it's going to go right back into the anchorman <laughs> attacking half. Ralph That's Fi when Vinny thinks he's going to see some action. Vinny cooling himself off there with the <laughs> water bottle. Surprised he's even broken a sweat tonight. <laughs> I think he's just drinking it because he's bored. I There's nothing else to do. He's not going to have to take a shower after this one. <laughs> he's like the punter <laughs> in a high-scoring football game there where they go. don't have to do anything. But he has risen to the occasion on a few shots by the by yeah. Tufts as usual. Just super solid as always between the between the pipes. Puck in front of the net. Tufts defense does a good job getting the their sticks on it, not letting the shot get off. Lyman's got it in the corner. This is Warnock again. He's going to take a shot. Nope. Hands it off to Scotty. Wristed into the into the chest of Ralph Faya. Marco Scotty, we got a transcript from Nate Bissell when he talked to Nate Bissell <laughs> early in that first period. He said he was going to score a goal for Nate Bissell. Nate said, you got to point at the camera after. <laughs> so if Mar Marco Scotty scores, we may see a point in the direction of our penalty box cam, manned by Nate Bissell. 
Anchorman have it out front. Mora couldn't control the pass. He had an opportunity to shoot there. Iceberg breaking away. Down the right here, he's going to wrist one. Good job by Martinelli not letting the shot get to Tadino. That quick Anchorman defense closing that shot down. Off the skate of Mike Young. An or Tufts try to get it to Iceberg. Now Mora skating into the slot. Mora with the move. Shot falls for Young. Oh. Two chance, two bites at the apple and can't get the shot to nestle into the back of the net. Lifted that second one too high. Goes out of play there. Young wants a goal. You can see the just the difference between the defenders here tonight. Big physical bodies for the for the jumbos, and, and that's mm -hmm. not a good thing taking on these small, quick, these lightning quick yep. attack uh, and forwards for the anchorman, and it's been all anchorman all night. Just too much speed on the ice right now for, for the anchorman, or too much speed for Tufts to handle. Finally made sense after <laughs> there we go. like four tries. <laughs> I knew where you were going yeah, with it. Can't get him. Can't get him right all the time. <laughs> also Seth remember, Her it's twenty past ten. Seth Late. Hurwitz and Mora take the face off. Martinelli dumps it in. Anchorman have it in the corner. Young dumps it off to Mora, goes across to Pannone. Pannone takes the shot into the chest of fire, loses it. Rebound fell for Mike Young. Couldn't get the shot to go in. A tight angle there. Panone's got it now for the Anchorman. Brickley putting the pressure on him. Anchorman lose possession. This is Hurwitz behind the net. Over to Ryan Nelson. Goes out of play once again. We're going to get another faceoff here. Those have been the only whistles we've seen. I've pretty much been yeah. out of play. That's what Q Stark, Stark in comparison to the last game where we were seeing whistles all day, all night. The sheet, the penalty <laughs> sheet. Got filled <laughs> all the way up. Two right now. <laughs> we had a shot of that last game where that thing was just packed to the gills. Brian Luther takes the face off. Huber's going to pick up the loose puck here. Huber, as we mentioned last game, coming off a broken back. Just last semester, just an unbelievable story, oh yeah. unbelievable recovery. And he has been excellent for the anchorman this year. Dumped in, I believe that was by, by Brian Luther. Or I believe he Nick, excuse me, Nick Bruno. Anchorman have it in the corner. Luther's got it. Dumps it off to Bruno. He takes the slap shot. Nearly goes oh. in. Rebound falls to Natalizia. Thought about poking it home. Thinks better of it. Goes over to Bruno. Played back to Natalizia. Natalizia behind the net. Twisting, turning, gets it over to Jack Vonnie. Jack Vonnie, excuse me. Huber across to Bruno. Bruno, slap shot. Misses wide. Huber picks up the loose puck again. Jumbo's under pressure once more. Huber, Bruno, I think he wants it again. No, <laughs> gives it back to Huber. Into the corner, back to Huber. Huber goes across to Bruno. Dumps it into Natalizia. Fire way out of his net. Now he's out of wow. position again. Behind, behind the net, Hanley does a good job stopping Luther. Huber thought about the shot, plays it over to Bruno. He's going to take another pop. He wants a goal tonight. That one deflected yeah. on the way, I believe, by Jimenez. All defensemen want goals every so often. Jack Voney dumps it in the direction of Brian Luther. Luther's got it in the corner. Luther still battling. I believe that's Derek Moody putting the pressure on. Dumped in by Bruno. Gloved by Faya. So a little su another sustained period of pressure from the anchorman attack. Can't put the puck in the back of the net, so it stays 2-0. Again, the goal scorer is Alex Lyman, his 10th goal in eight appearances, not even eight full appearances. <laughs> and the defenseman, Ryan Huber, gets in on the act as well, poked one home after Faya was way out of his net again. Poor positioning by him. Conway's got it now for the anchorman. Dumps it inside. To Rosniak, back to Conway, thought of, fired one in, but off the stick there of Josh Golubovsky. Into the corner, shot fired in from Rosniak. Battle in the corner between Rosniak and Golubovsky. Tufts has got it through Hurwitz. Hurwitz gets it up to Iceberg. Iceberg is pretty quick, but he's been breaking up. He's been breaking out all by himself, and it's been three on one whenever he picks up the puck. Can't do much against this defense like that. Brickley does a good job picking up possession for a moment, but swept away by Conway. Ever alert, ever present. Rosniak's got it in the corner, skates in, gets the backhand off into the legs of Faya. He covers it up. Rosniak showing a little burst.
burst of speed there to get away from his defender. Got the shot off. Another sh another save by Faya. Might break a D3 record for saves in a single game tonight. <laughs> Tobias Warnock, Lyman on the ice. Scotty, Lyman. Jimmy Matthews is going to take the face off. Conway's got it. Over to Scotty. Fires one in. Deflected. Puck loose in front of the net. Tobias was right there. Couldn't get his stick on it. There kicked was just enough blue in the way. Kicked off the skate of Jimenez. Anchorman had it. Dump it in. That was Golubowski clearing it away. Can't get it out of his zone. Puck fired in the direction of Warnock. Nelson struggled with it for a moment. Conway's got it now. He's going to fire one into the mixer. Kicked off the skate of Golubowski. Scotty fires one in. Off the skate of Nelson. Defenders just taking a shot. Any opportunity. Good deflection and it could go in. Scotty's got it in the corner. Dumps it back towards Tobias behind the net. Lays one in front for Scotty. Good vision there by Tobias. Scotty couldn't get the shot off, but a good eye there by Seth Tobias. Seth Tobias unsung on that line with Warnock and Lyman, but he's got great vision. He does. He knows where his other players are on the ice at all times. Excellent facilitator. Doesn't pop up on the score sheet must much with assists uh, in that sense, but always making a good pass. Seth Tobias is solid. See how many assists he's got on the year. See, only one assist on the year from Tobias, but if you look back on some of those goals, I bet you he's got a pass, two or three passes yep. before before that goal that sets it up. Panone dumps it back in. Mike Young's going to take possession of it. Goes across to Panone. Panone throws one off the, I believe that was off the leg of Brickley. Mm -hmm. Panone picks up a loose puck, fires it into the chest of Faya. We're going to get another face-off here. 17, 7 18, excuse me, left in the second period here. You're watching Rick Hockey Friday presented by Anchor TV. Jared Ware on the call. Sam Allen doing the color. Panone's got it. Fires it in the direction of Fire. Kicked away. Moody gets over, tries to clear it. Brickley's battling with Vanny as well as Mora for possession. Behind the neck, behind the net. Hanley picks it up. Fire is going to cover it up. Seven minutes left in this one. Sam, how's the <laughs> second period gone in your eyes? Kind of slow. Yeah, a little bit. I, I mean, tough. yes, tough is slowing down, which in turn is slowing us down a little bit because they're not moving fast. Why do we want to waste our energy and move fast? Larkham and Mora in the circle. Possession with Parker Smith for a moment. Again, kept in the attacking zone by Mike Young. I'd like to see the stats on how long it's been in the Rick zone in I comparison would. to anywhere else on the ice because it has to be at this point. Out of 13 <laughs> minutes, probably at least 10. Yeah. Shot there by Mora, blocked by Faya, goes out of play there. If I was Vinny, I, I would be sitting. Why stand? <laughs> I mean, he could be he could be out getting a soda pop at the uh, <laughs> at the exactly. at the old uh, concession stand. Concession stand is what I was looking for there. <laughs> The old sugar shack, as they like to call oh it. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. Again, Tufts trying to break away. Lose possession. Huber dumps it back in. Moody's got it for the Jumbos. Pressure there on the four check by the anchorman. It has possession here. Luther fires a shot. Kicked away by Faya at the last moment. Thought that one was going to nestle into that left bottom left corner. Good job by Faya getting in the way. Shot by Bruno. Fell for... Jack Voney in front. Natalizia takes a shot into the chest of Faye, and he covers up. It looks like that third goal is on its, it's way. It's on its way. Yep. With this possession and this pressure and the tired legs for the Jumbos. It, it Again, a timeout on the Jumbos. I think they just need a breather. Yeah, they, <laughs> I mean. That's really all it is. A short squad here, a small roster for the Jumbos traveling down from Boston. Those legs have begun. Uh, start to they're starting to get heavy. You can see it as Sam mentioned, slowing things down here. Yep. Coach predicted that before. He said that before I talked to him in the interview that this was going to slow us down, and it really is. Even coaches kind of get bored at these kind of games. These are one of the games though that right now I can bet you the head coach right now is preaching consistency. Yep. You always want to see your guys playing at the same level regardless of score, regardless of situation. Exactly. 
Don't lose all your steam. You see all the great coaches do it, whether it's Nick Saban at the college football level, always preaching excellence, whether they're up 100 points or up by seven. You want that same level out of your team. That's how you build a good program in any sport, yeah. in anything, business. You want your guys performing the same level regardless of the situation. It's just a good life thing. Oh, absolutely. You learn life, le you learn life lessons here on yeah. Rick Hockey Fridays presented by Anchor TV as well as learning <laughs> some sports lessons. So tune in whether you're a fan of sports or <laughs> not. Back to the action, though. We're done with the life lessons <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah, back to hockey. Hurwitz and Luther are going to take the face off. Nelson's got it. Spins away from Natalizia, who was looking to intercept that pass, looking to read the thoughts of Nelson, give himself a chance. In the middle, to, to, uh, excuse me, Luther, he lost possession of it. Up top to Bruno, thought about the shot for a moment. Dumps it over to Jack Voney, plays it off the boards towards Natalizia. Natalizia cuts away from Nelson. No, excuse me, Hurwitz, but Nelson gets in with the poke check. Knocks it off his, skate, uh, his stick, excuse me. Out to Huber, who's been playing a lot of minutes tonight. Yes. Down over Luther, fired into the chest of fire, and we're going to get a whistle here. We're really seeing the top two defensive lines out more than you're seeing the other ones. Which isn't a bad thing. They're good. Oh, they're excellent. Like why not play them? Conway and Scotty skate back on the ice, so Huber and Bruno are going to take a seat. We also have Spencer Rose, uh, Brendan Belial, and Rosniak on oh. the ice. Conway takes the shot into the chest of fire. Juicy rebound there. Quick thinking there by Josko Lebowski to knock it away. Rosniak was lurking across to Scotty. Scotty plays the pass first time towards Rosniak. Couldn't control it. Half chance there for the anchorman. Rosniak dumps it into the corner. Rose is battling with Golubovsky. Conway's got it. Thinking about the shot. Takes it off the stick of Hurwitz. Nelson has it now. Nelson playing a lot of minutes for the Jumbos. Trying to get it clear. They still can't. They've been searching all period to get it clear. Brickley's got it. Just has to dump it in. It was two on one there. Anchorman defense is quick. They can get back. Played up towards Rose. Couldn't control it. Hanley's got it for the Jumbos. Jumbos looking to break quickly here. This is Parker Smith stolen away nicely by Marco yeah. Scotty. Smith. He just kind of balls through that kid. Here goes Scotty. He wanted oh. the goal on the end of that. Excellent job, though, by Scotty there at center ice. Parker Smith was looking to deke his way around him. Yeah, no. Scotty <laughs> reads the puck, just knocks it clear. Still nothing so far from Tufts. Tufts a great school, by the way, in Boston. It is. Very tough to get into. <laughs> what, Tufts is tough? Tufts is tough to get into. Smart, have to be smart. High, high MCAS, high SATs. Which is why they're all studying for their exams. Which is why I <laughs> am not at Tufts right <laughs> now. There we go. I have pretty good SATs and pretty good MCATs, by the way, if anyone at home was wondering. <laughs> Giancarlo Pannone, though. I don't know Jared, we're a fun fact of the day. Oh, yeah, I give you one every game. That was an excellent by any stretch of the imagination, but above average. Lyman's got it now in a ton of space. Deeks around one and glove save by Faya again. He's been he's been excellent between the pipes. Let's be honest, it's a 2-0 deficit they're facing right now, but if if there is a goalie of a lower caliber than Ralph Fire right now, nope. this could be 8-9-10 right now, nothing in favor of the Anchorman. So give Ralph Fire some credit. His defenders are trying as hard as they might, <laughs> but the quick the quick attacks from Rick Wearing him out. the quick passing it's just been too much. Martinelli keeps it in. Goes across to Pannone. Pannone fires one in. Faya covers it, covers it up again. We got 3.28 here left in the second period. 2 nothing. Rhode Island College. Alex Lyman scored the first. Ryan Huber na uh, snagged the second. Face off. Tobias won it briefly. Good job keeping it by Martinelli. Warnock dumped it to Lyman. Warnock's now got it in the corner behind it. Tobias. Tobias tried to get one out front. Lyman was lurking. Warnock knocked away there by Hurwitz. 
Hurwitz is playing, I believe, as a center I think so. right now, but he's having to drop so deep. He's almost a third defender right now as Brickley's got it. Shot deflected off Pannone. Padino probably hasn't made a save in about, no exaggeration, 10, ten minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah. Iceberg's got it now at center. Nice. Knocked off nice it by yeah. Lyman. Iceberg's kind of slight, little small guy. Quick, though. If anyone was going to score a goal tonight for Tufts, it would be Max Iceberg. Yep. But that looks far, far away. This is the longest we've seen the puck down in that zone for Nels a while. Nelson's got it for the Jumbos. Over to Iceberg. Can't control it off the board. Stolen by Warnock. Warnock tried to deke oh. his way around Chad Larkham. Can't. Iceberg battling for possession. Still in the Anchorman zone. Moore has got it. Takes the wrist shot. Misses high. Moore has got it again. Had Vanny in front of oh. the net. Tried getting it to, I believe that was Mike Young, Young. who was crashing. Just passed it behind him. Huber does a good job getting back. Keeping it away from Pablo Jimenez. Padino had to just knock that away because Jimenez was lurking. Looking to just prod it home. Again, it's a two-goal lead here, so if something fluky happens and... It'll be closer. Much closer. Absolutely. That's all Tufts can really hope for right yeah. now is get a fluke bounce or something exactly. and just try to cut into the lead and maybe maybe the grip on the steering wheel gets a little tighter yep. by the anchorman. But Make us a little more nervous. Right now... A 2 nothing lead, as I said, that could be easily 8 or 9 if Ralph Faya didn't come to play. Mike Young's got it now for the anchorman. Tried getting it over to Mora, a little behind him. Dumped in by Tufts. Young's got it now for the anchorman. Down in that corner. Looking to skate his way out of the zone. Thrown over to Mora. Puck nearly fell kindly for Jimenez. Huber there to clean, up, clean it up. Off the boards to Vanny. Huber battling with Jimenez for possession. Nelson just throws it back into the zone off the board. Mike Young has it now. Nicely over to Frank Va uh, Frank Vanny. Can't control it, though. Has to dump it in. Hanley's going to pick up the loose puck. Got about a minute left in this period. Stolen at center ice by Brian Luther. Luther looking to get get away from Larkham there. He gets the poke check in. Luther's got it here. One on one. Skates away from the defender. Left it for Brett Moore, who just misses high and wide. Good bit of play there from uh, from excuse me, Brian Luther. Left it for Moore and Moore just missed high. Looked to lift it into that top corner. Would have been perfect placement if he could have got it. But another sign of intent here from this Anchorman team. They want to extend this lead from two. 44 seconds left in the second period. Anchorman in control, 2-0. Hurwitz is going to skate in. Luther battling for that faceoff as well. Luther in possession. Now it's Conway down the left. Looked to get around. Golubovsky couldn't. Cleaned up by Ryan Nelson. Poked away. Luther's going to get possession again in the corner. Dumps it up top to Natalizia. Right back to Luther. Back to Natalizia. Over to Scotty. Scotty just flicks one in. Covered up by Faya. Struggled with it for a and minute. Scotty Final broke a stick. Those are never fun to break. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, that that is <laughs> expensive. Yeah. That's a couple books there, <laughs> in the old Rick bookstore for two hundred bucks. Probably one book, depending on right. what class it is. Brian Luther's going to take the face off. Seth Hurwitz in there as well. Shot here from Jack Voney. Jack Vonney. Jack Voney? Vonney? Jack yeah. Voney. I think it's Jack Voney. <laughs> <laughs> Had to say these names a lot yeah. tonight because the anchormen have just been dominating possession here. If I was going to put a percentage on possession, it's in the, 70 it's in the yeah. 75 to like 25, and that might be giving the top tough too much credit. So. End of two. Two nothing. Alex Lyman. Ryan Huber picked up a, a goal in this period as well. We're going to take a break here, step away from Rick Hockey Fridays presented by Anchor TV. We'll be here with another interview from Sam Allen and one of the coaches from the Anchorman. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Sam Allen here with assistant coach Anthony Calcione. Cal, we were just talking. This is a slow-moving game. The Tufts has six guys on their bench. How are you going to keep – what are you going to go tell your team to keep them alive for the next period? I mean, the problem is we should be skating a lot hotter. 
Um, doesn't matter if you're playing against 12 guys, 20 guys. You got to skate faster. Um, they're really they're in our heads. They're allowing us to sleep. Every time they get the puck in the zone, we're putting pressure. They're icing it. It's just slowing down the game, and we can't buy into it. We got to keep moving. How are you feeling about the freshmen? A lot of the freshmen tonight, we've seen more of them out on the ice than normal. How are you feeling about the freshman squad in eight games in? This is a game I wanted to get them in because Tufts, every year, um, they they play a very slow, controlled game. So freshmen, they're in shape right out of high school, speed. Um, they're skating hard. It's just not getting the bounces yet. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you, Cal. We'll All thanks. right. We'll be right back with more Rick Friday Night Hockey. Back here on Rick Hockey Fridays, presented by Anchor TV, and you can say bye, bye, <laughs> bye to the Tufts' chances here in this game, but only two nothing here. A huge amount of shots by the anchorman. Good job by Ralph Fai in the net so far for Tufts. Sam, what are your thoughts on the game thus far? Boring. I mean, I didn't want a game like we had last weekend with all the fights and everything like that, but it's just slow and not. I'm not that often that bored with the hockey game. I gotta say. Well, it's been dominant so far by the Anchorman, so if you like stuff like that, it's been in their attacking it zone the yeah. entire game. I expect it to be in this on to our right for basically this entire yep. last tw uh, 20 minutes here. As we said throughout the game, a small bench, small mm -hmm. roster brought here by the Tufts Jumbos. Those legs have got to be getting awfully heavy. We've seen guys like Hanley and Nelson and, and Jimenez and Brickley all on the ice for long oh minutes. Yeah. Anchorman doing a good job uh, keeping those lines fresh, getting guys in and off the ice, and, and they've been pretty dominant thus far. I heard from uh, Cal on our way up here to get an interview from him when Furtado did the uh, shots in the first period, 26 to 4. And, and there had to be at least <laughs> at least 25, yeah. 26 more, so uh, I would say there's about, uh, Fire's got to be in the range of 40-some-odd saves so far tonight. Great job by him. It, it could easily be, it could be close to double digits right now. So we're here in the final stanza of this poem here. Anchorman looking to close it out. Quickly, the puck ends up into the Tufts attacking zone, but Lyman steps up with it, skates away, try to get it over to Warnock. Iceberg has it, stolen away by Lyman. Lyman attacking, dumps it off to Warnock. Warnock, wrist shot, tried to go to the blocker side of Faya, missed wide. Faya's glove side has been pretty solid tonight. Maybe the Anchorman are going to try to attack that blocker side. Here's Scotty into the middle, fires a shot, kicked away. Tobias backhands it back, kicked away once again by Faya. Tufts trying to clear it. Iceberg has it for the Jumbos. Loses possession. Warnock's got it in the neutral zone. Fires one off the boards. Scotty dumps it to Warnock. Warnock taking on Hanley, cuts inside, fires a oh. shot, kicked away by Faya. Then Faya and Warnock, they tangle up a little bit. Hanley came over to... Uh, to defend his goalkeeper, no, or, or goaltender, excuse me. Uh, nothing serious there, nothing no. like we saw last week against Not Eastcon, where they nearly came to blows. Here's Jimenez. Skates away from Bruno. Lost the angle, though, there. Loses possession. So a little more attacking intent here by the Jumbos in this period. We've only seen two penalties in this game so far, yeah. which is unbelievable compared to about the 150 we saw last game. So we have one game ton of penalties next game none. next to none <laughs> it's even weird for a rick hockey game in itself brett more more there had to be aware as as vanny lost possession of it fell onto the stick of jimenez i believe right out front but more gets across and gets the poke check in jimenez has it now just shovels it out of the attacking zone of the anchorman martinelli has it now for the burgundy and gold <laughs> are we burgundy maroon eh, burgundy okay. <laughs> In my eyes, it's the same color. Rich mahogany. That could Ooh. be another. Out front to Vanny. Vanny fires it in. Faya save. No one there. Ralph Faya saying no way. <laughs> He's been saying that a lot. We heard the song Fireman by Lil Wayne in between periods, <laughs> and that could be an ode to Ralph Faya. There is a possession lost Ooh. by the anchorman. Chad Larkham was there and tried prodding home. We're going to get a whistle here. 
great opportunity for the Jumbos there to cut the lead in half. Tadino, awake and alert. One of his few saves tonight, but a big one. Oh, and we're getting a penalty. <laughs> so we're going to see Giancarlo Pannone again skate to the sin bin. Two penalties tonight on the anchorman, both accrued by Pannone, making his w uh, a, a huge contribution tonight, the most he's made all season long, or at least in the games that we've seen. Mm -hmm. So Pannone goes to the box, chatting it up with Nate Bissell down there. <laughs> Has a great angle with us, so a power play here by Tufts. 17.42 left in this third period. The oh. Jumbos looking to cut into this lead. While we have a little bit of a break, when I was downstairs getting some stats, apparently the goal was actually from Mora in the second okay. period, not from Huber. Okay, so we have one from Lyman, one from Mora, as Tadino wraps his glove around go. a rasping drive from Brett, Brett Hanley, Luke Hanley. Luke. Okay. Yeah, we were calling him defender <laughs> number eight earlier in the game, so that's close. Hurwitz, face-off, goes all the way to Whoa. Tadino, who goes <laughs> who goes Landon Donovan celebration after scoring against Algeria <laughs> in the 20 2010 World Cup. Like 2% of our audience is actually going to get that reference. Right. I don't. Eh. I'm going to be honest with you. Check that out on YouTube when you get home. Face-off, cleared by Conway, all the way to Faya. Fire drops it for Hanley behind the net. 143 left on the power play here for Tufts. Looking to get something going here. Brickley's got it. Poked and prodded away from Jack Voney, who gets a nice hit there on, I believe that was Hurwitz. Almost knocked him into the anchorman bench. Brickley again for Tufts. Goes over to Hurwitz. A little too far ahead of Hurwitz for him to control that. Conway knocks it back, and it goes all the way to Faya again. Pressure here from Natalizia. That was un, uh, unorthodox there, but from Faya, yeah. I had to slap it away with the glove. All the way to Faya again. Tufts, even with the man advantage, struggling to get the puck into their attacking zone here. It's not a good sign for the, for the <laughs> Jumbos, to, stay the, to say the least. All the way back to Faya again, cleared off the stick of, I believe, that was Conway. Under the feet of Larry Anthony. Jimmy, Jimmy Matthews battling for possession. Again, cleared out nicely off the stick of Scotty. 35 seconds left on this power play for the Jumbos. Parker Smith has it. Just no sense of urgency here from the Jumbos. No, not at all. Leisurely taking their time. I don't know what that maneuver was from Derek Moody, and he gets cleaned <laughs> out by Larry Anthony. Shot into the chest of wow. Tadino off the stick of Jimenez. Again, a shot into the chest of Tadino, and he saves that one. Knocked it back into his glove. That was off the stick of Derek Moody. Moody limping around a little bit. You don't want to see him go down no. with an injury. That would leave them with five men <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> that was the most action Vin's seen all night. Yeah, two shots. Two in shots in a minute. <laughs> 17 seconds left on the power play here. Rhode Island College looking to get the penalty kill once again. Looking to keep this game 2 nothing. Huber's got it in the corner. Just clears it out into the neutral zone. Warnock tried to knock okay. it between the legs of Golubovsky. Good bit, good bit of defending there by Golubovsky. Here comes Warnock again, skating around, fires a shot in. Shots the face, nothing dangerous for fire. Golubovsky knocks Lyman out of the way. Dumped in right underneath us by Nick Bruno. Huber races to keep it in, successful, and then loses possession. Tufts can't clear it again. Warnock gets away from one defender, deeks around another, just poked away by Ryan Nelson. Kept in barely by Ryan Huber. Tobias in with possession now. Jimenez steals it away. Just clears it out of the zone. It's going to go all the way to Tadino. Tadino up to Lyman in the neutral zone. Gives it up to Tobias. Right back to Lyman there. Warnock waiting, ready to pounce. Has to just dump it in there, though. Nelson for the Jumbos up against the boards. Over to Iceberg. Iceberg went no look pass there. Ill advised. Morris got it, dumps it to Bruno. Bruno off, up against the boards over the lineman who can't control it. Nelson cuts the puck out. Eisberg looking to get it clear. Can't Mora with a four check. Fires one, kicked away by Faya. Lyman in front, nearly redirected by Mora there with his back to the net. That would have been a sensational yeah, goal there. Yeah. 
Bruno and Huber keeping it away from Brickley. Huber try to get it to Vanny. S knocked away there off the stick of Derek Moody. Here comes Huber. Fires one in. Blocked away there by Faya. Huber picks it up, though. Hit there by Hanley. Trips Huber momentarily. Martinelli's got it. Deflected in. That was half pass, half shot there. Iceberg just got in the way of that. Here's Iceberg again. Skating away from Vanny. Vanny, though, gets a stick on it. Knocks it away from Iceberg. Young cross ice to Mora. Two on one here. Ooh. Mora dumps it inside oh. to Vanny. You can't control it. Oh and a good man. job. Good job by Faya and his defenseman. Kick save there by Faya. Vanny, loose puck, tries knocking it around. Faya, who had to go prone there for a minute, kept it out, though. Anchorman poking and prodding once again. They want that third goal. They, they need four more to reach <laughs> Sam Allen's <laughs> prediction of the six-pack. I'm not good at these predictions. Stolen behind by Larkham. He can't get it clear. Pannone's going to take possession here. Brickley clears it into the glove of Martinelli. Up to, up to Mora, excuse me. Vanny cutting through the toughs defense. Skates left, puts one in front for Mora. Mora trying to poke oh. it home. Nope. Nothing there. Luther's got it. Tufts clear it away. So another close call for the anchorman. Another good job by Ralph Faya and that Tufts defense. Keeping it just the 2 nothing advantage. If they could get anything going offensively, they could get themselves right back into this game. But thus far, Nothing on the offense from Tufts, let's be honest. Yeah, it's been no, non-existent. They have a very strong defense, though. No, they've been solid. They've been under siege all game long. And to only give up two goals, oh. and Scotty flicked one uh, in there. Fire saw it late. The puck's still loose in front. Jack Voney couldn't Fuck. possess it, so he's got to kick it back up top to Conway. Cross ice to Scotty. Just slaps one in. Kicked away by Fire. Conway rips one. Puck loose in the slot. Scotty. I believe that just hit a body I out in so. front of the yep. net. Luther. Scotty's got it now. He's got room to shoot. Little head fake there. <laughs> Drops it off for Jack Voney. Jack Voney fires one into the chest of Faya. He covers it up nicely. So 12.06 here, 2 nothing. Alex Lyman got the first. Brett Mora got the second. We thought it was Huber earlier, but that one's going to go to Brett Mora. We're going to get another face off here. Mass line chain. Spencer <laughs> Rose is on the ice. Larry Anthony on the ice. Rosniak. Alex Rosniak. Scotty and Conway stay on at the defensive pairing here. Jimenez trying to clear it. Center ice to Conway. Dumps it back in. Whoa. This is Ryan Nelson up to Jimenez. It's almost as if. Tufts is playing with four defenders and just one yeah. guy that they're trying it to get it to as an it outlet. It would be a smart move for Tufts to do that. If they had some versatile guys who can do both. Sitting deep, trying to break quickly. Ooh. That looked like a trip to me. But I'm just saying. Puck over to Conway. Dumps it down into the corner. That's Mike Mike Young in possession. Back to Conway. Scotty fires into the chest of Faya. Rebound. Falls kindly to Iceberg. And we're going to get a penalty <laughs> call there that on one Scotty. Too. Knew it as soon as, soon as he did it. <laughs> so the third power play of the night for the Tufts Jumbos. 2 nothing opportunity here for Tufts, as I've said on every power play, to get back into this game. Uh, they're going to have to step up the offense. So they're going to have to really realize there's 11 minutes and 19 seconds left yeah. in this game. Got to pick up the pace. Got to get going quickly here. You steal one, you have 10 minutes or so to, to find the equalizer. But mm -hmm. we shall see here. They got an extra man, so... Jack, Jack Voney on the ice, Bruno on the ice. Huber's got it now. Slapped up against the glass there. Kept in Jimenez. Jimenez fires one from the slot. Deflected wide of the goal. Brickley with the rebound. Stoned by Tadino. <laughs> Jack Voney's got it. Throws it off the glass, and it's going to go all the way to Faya. So a little more attacking intent here from the Jumbos. Pablo Jimenez with the shot. Vinny Tadino, though. He's been called upon rarely, but has risen to each occasion beautifully. He has. A, a pressure by Natalizia. He's been doing a great job on the penalty kill, using his speed to really be a nuisance. Jimenez dumps one in. Stopped behind the net by Tadino. Anchorman trying to clear it out. 
Mm, they do a good job doing that there. Golubovsky, he's going to go all the way back to fire to pick it up. Golubovsky over to Brickley. Brickley, Jimenez has, has it now, nearly runs over Chad Larkham in the process. I have to say, for this being a penalty kill, you can't tell by looking at the ice. It looks like a regular no five idea. on five. Just there, there was that brief period in about the first 15 seconds of this power play for Tufts where they really pressured yep. that Anchorman defense since then. They haven't been able to set anything up. Normal service resumed. Parker Smith tried picking that pass up in the neutral zone. Couldn't get a stick on it. Golubovsky has it again. This is not where they want the puck. In front, Vanny tried to get the shorthand goal there. Rebound poked home by Spencer Rose with the backhand. 3-0, and we saw that one coming. And we got the goal music and everything here on Rick Hockey, yeah, Rick Hockey Fridays presented by Anchor TV. Spencer Rose, shorthanded goal. So an opportunity for Tufts to cut into the lead and they end up one goal more behind. The goal music bringing some added intensity here, bringing some ad added awesomeness to these broadcasts. <laughs> Loving that. Every one of keeps you getting better and better. Just the just you wait, people. Just the definition of a disaster for Tufts. <laughs> uh, that's all you can say about that. 3 nothing, really limited opportunities for Tufts. Anchorman just have to cruise here in the last nine minutes as Parker Smith tried shoveling one in the direction of Tadino. Back Out to front. even strength. Yes. Off the skate of Warnock. Leisurely skates into the corner with it. Wraps around. No one out front there. Hanley pressuring Warnock now. Tobias comes over to try and grab possession. Still Hanley and Warnock, scrum in the corner. Now Tobias has it. Wraps around, changes direction, pokes it away from Faya there for a second. Panone over to Martinelli. Martinelli wrists one in. It's Hit oh Tobias. Man. Tobias lost the puck on that one. Panone can't keep it in the zone. Over to Martinelli. Martinelli tried to find the stick of Tobias, could not. We're getting an icing call there. 3 0 here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Goal from Alex Lyman, Brett Mora, and the last one we just saw was scored by Spencer Rose. And that was short handed as well. Yes, it so was. Great for the Anchorman. Disastrous for Tufts. They're going to have to take the long trip back to Boston with an L added to their <laughs> record. Hey, don't drink, Tufts. Tobias. Over to Lyman, back to Tobias. Dumps it off the boards. Lyman has it now in the corner to Tobias. Behind the net, a little bit of contact there as Cody Warnock picked up possession. Martinelli dumps it right back to Tobias. Defender Hurwitz slides over, steals it away. Brickley trying to skate out of the zone. Nearly had it pickpocketed by Seth Tobias. Tadino just slaps it around there. Lyman in the corner. Try to play it off the boards there. Hurwitz got in the way. Anchorman trying to clear here. Brett Moore, is, Brett Moore has it, plays it cross ice. Lyman has to backtrack for it. No look dump pass there in the direction of Brett Mora. Vanny picks it up. Vanny played a huge part in that shorthanded goal. Got a shot. Tried putting it in that bottom left corner. Oh. Puck slipped away from wow. Faya there. Everyone thought that Faya had that puck. No one was up right up there. You have to give credit to Brickley there getting in the way of Mora. So Mora couldn't get back to that loose puck. If he would have, would have been 4 nothing. Frank Vanny, though, playing, playing, playing more very minutes. Well. Doing a great job tonight. Filling in for Ryan Martins. Mike Young oh. comes across, fires one in there. He wants a goal. Conway has it. Dumps it back in towards th towards uh, Vanny. Conway has it at center ice over to Scotty. Dumped in. Nelson has it. Pressure by Mora. Kept in by Vanny. Vanny looking to get control of it. Had it underneath his skates for a little bit. Young has it in front across to Vanny, and he knocks it home on with the one-timer. Goal music go. once again. We were just heaping praise on. At this. <laughs> just heaping the praise on Frank Vanny. 
played a huge role in that shorthanded goal. Got to give all the credit in the world to Mike Young there. What a great find. Th put it across the face at goal, and Van all Vanny had to do was get a stick on it. Prod that baby home for nothing. Two goals away from Sam's prediction of six. And you have to say tired legs here starting to yeah. show up for Tufts. Again, that was Luther looking across in the direction of Scotty, who got into the back post. And we're getting an icing called on Tufts. So Ryan Martins, he's out with a game disqualification. Frank Vanny comes in. He's playing great. Nadiger steps away from the team. The defense hasn't lost a bi uh, beat. Giancarlo Pannone has been excellent tonight. Picked up two penalties. Two out of three have gone to him, but no harm, no foul there because on one of them, the anchormen were able to pick up a goal as Huber fires one in and again fires way out of his net. He's got to scramble to get back there because the anchorman had, a, had possession briefly behind the net. Jack Voney fires it back towards Luther, who's battling in the corner with Hanley. Up top to Huber. Huber, slap shot. Where is Va I where mean, where is Fire there? He was one. way out of the crease. Got a whole open net. Parker Smith has it now. Natalizia gives him gives him the business end there. There's a nice wow, hit from Brian go. Luther on Parker Smith. Anchorman have it once again. Looking for more goals. Natalizia, he's going to take it to the left. Look to get away there from Hurwitz. That looked like a trip there or hooking or something. No call. No call. <laughs> uh, ref's probably going to swallow their whistles at this point for nothing. <laughs> 5.46 left in this game. Huber fires one in, deflected off the hand of Moody. Off the skate there of Hurwitz. He's going to give chase. Bruno's right there with him. Tangles up in the corner. Hurwitz has possession, though. Good job there by Bruno. Dispossessing Hurwitz. Rose, a goal scorer in this one. He scored the third. Tried to get it over to Larry Anthony. This is Nelson now. Nelson fires one in from the blue line. Easy pickings for Vinny Tadino. Covers it up. 5-12 left in this one. 4-0 here on Rick Hockey Friday presented by Anchor TV. Anchorman cruising now, starting to pull away from the Tufts, who they've put up a great fight tonight. This was always a tough matchup for them. Faya has been great up until this point. Really not much he could have done about either of those last two goals. But he's still been immense. As we see, Jimmy Matthews kicked out of the circle. Brickley's going to skate in there. Rose wins it. Pannone has it behind the net. Over to Larry Anthony. A little bit of contact there from Ryan Nelson, but here comes Rosniak. He fires one in, kicked away from Faya. Battle behind the net, Golubovsky, Rosniak, Larry Anthony, stolen away by Brick uh, by Brickley. Panone giving chase, dumped in there by Brickley from center ice. Behind the net, Jimmy Matthews looks like he could have could have picked up possession there. Does not. Oh, nice hit there by Ryan Nelson. On his on his counterpart, number 26, Spencer Rose. Rose tried to come back and get a little piece of Nelson. Nelson definitely got the better of that exchange. Puck fired in by Nelson. Kicked and stopped off the skate of Pannone before it got to that bottom left corner. I think Tadino had it covered. Rosniak nearly put it through the legs <laughs> of Nelson, but a little bit of contact from Nelson. And he hits him right back. Oh, that's a trip that's there. That's a trip. There we go. And we're going to get the call there. So it looks like Josh Golubovsky is oh. going to go to the whoa. Whoa. That was Alec Rosniak losing composure there. Not a smart move there Not by, Ro at all. by Rosniak. So he's going to go into the sin bin as well. Josh Golubovsky is going to go in. So it's going to be four on four hockey there. And that's something that the coach, in, in a game like this, uh, that the anchormen have been dominating, the coaching staff, they're looking for something that they can hark upon after the game. You always want to push your players to get better. They're definitely going to bring that up in the locker room with Rosniak. You need to keep your composure. As Will Ferrell says in old school. Oh, boy. you got to keep your composure. I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to get into <laughs> the, get into that part. But if you've seen old school, you know what I'm talking you about. Yep. If you haven't, go see it. Funny movie. Great movie. Will Ferrell's amazing. So the refs right now. Four on five. It looks like they're saying a four on five.
No, we got another bit of swearing there. I think with the atmosphere, Mike, it happens. It's hockey. It's live <laughs> sports. You know what you're getting into. They're still chit. Oh. These guys are chit chatting across awesome. the box <laughs> here. I like this. Golubovsky, Rosniak. Got a little problem with that. These two are going to make contact when they come out here. Let's see in about two minutes when that I'm goes excited. down. I'm <laughs> excited. So we have five on four hockey here. Anchorman somehow walk away with an extra man. Not that they need it. <laughs> Huber's got it. Thought about the shot for a second. Played first time by Warnock. Fire. Had to be quick there covering that up because Brett Moore was lurking. I think we still a little bit of chatter down I think there. So. Still just a little bit. Like that. Here we go. <laughs> Warnock up to Huber. Back to Warnock. Anchorman are going to be patient here across to Mora. Slap. First time at Cody Warnock, and it finds the back of the net. Mora to Warnock in the slot. One timer, 5 0. Maybe I am going to be right. Knock on wood on that one. Pretty simple stuff there. Mora had it in the corner, played it right back across the face of goal. First time effort there from Cody Warnock. Plants it in the back of the net. And proceedings are basically officially over here as the Anchorman take a 5 0 lead. <laughs> And that power play unit and that ability to move Brett oh yeah. Moore to defenseman as Eisberg loses his footing there, that just gives the Anchorman pa uh, power play a great added dimension. So you get four, four attackers on the ice. Yep. You get Huber, who's quick and fast. It, that's, that's a great strategical move oh by yeah. the coaching the staff. The power play this year is amazing. Really like that. They've scored twice on the power play tonight. Here comes Scotty down the right. Plays it off the boards. And Tripped up there by Hurwitz. Played it off the boards to get around Derek Moody. Creative bit of play there by Marco Scotti, the defender, showing that he has a little bit of versatility <laughs> as well. He's got a team full of versatility. It's a good team to have. A lot of good players on the ice. A lot of skilled players yep. on the ice at all times for the anchormen. Spencer Rose, he scored the fourth goal. We still haven't seen the scoreboard updated right now yeah. inside the arena. Obviously, graphics here. Up on in the press box, right on top of it, <laughs> five nothing. Conway skates back. Two forty nine left in this one. The anchormen are just going to cruise home here. Sam Allen wants one more goal to get her prediction correct. Come on! If you read the anchor, I believe both of us picked the anchorman everyone to win this picked game. Everyone the anchorman to win. So everyone's going to get another one <laughs> right. I'm only five. Good. I'm. I'm two, already owing two this week. I'm five, five and eleven on the year, but I think this week at up to You're this point I'm three and zero. Oh, you so are. I'm proud of you. Good job. I'm the rookie. Yeah, the new Maggie's kid's a rookie. Up. Rookie Maggie's a rookie as well. She's eight and eight. Yep. Just gotta take down the reigning champion. We're all good. Keep an eye out. <laughs> take took me a minute to get into it. Fired across the oh. net. It could have been six right there. Could have been another freshman with a goal. Brian Luther played it across. Brendan Belisle, all he had to do was get a stick on it and direct it towards goal, and it was six. Remains five, and Sam Allen right there. She wanted Want that, that one. Goal. <laughs> Three games so far, though, inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena, and we have seen an amazing 17 goals. Yeah. Good math. Uh, like I said, I got good, just good scores <laughs> on the old SATs. And the MCAS fired in, glove oh. save. TJ Jack, Vo uh, Jack Voney looking to get in on the action. Gloved away, though, by Ralph Faya. Belia, though, he's going to go to the bench. He's going to rue that missed opportunity. Yeah. A chance to open up his account this year, I believe. I don't think he scored uh, he up until nothing. this point. So Could have picked up his first point of the year. It's always good to get your first point on a goal. Luther, probably not that happy either. No. Wanted a point for himself there. Good bit of play there. Good vision to find that pass. Battle here up against the boards. Jack Voney couldn't keep it in, and we're going to get an offsides called on the anchorman. Jack Voney and the ref having a little <laughs> discussion. Different interpretations of the situation. Obviously, the ref gets the final say. Here comes Huber, 117 left in the period. 
Ned Elizia try to get possession. Here comes Iceberg for Tufts. Crowded off the puck there by Nat Elizia and Huber together. I'm really hoping for a goal. Brian Luther was attacking the center. S wrist shot in there from Nat Elizia. Brickley's got it. That shot was kicked away by Faya. Here comes Iceberg by himself again. Huber gets a good hit on Iceberg. And the Anchorman are going to come out again on the attack. We're going to have a delayed penalty here on Tufts. I think that's going to be on Luke Hanley. He's got a, a look like he wants to skate towards the penalty box. No, it's going to be Brickley. called on Charlie Brickley. When does that have to to Andy? So the game is, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> uh, so the game is going to end with an Anchorman man advantage here on the power play once again. Oh, yay. So an opportunity <laughs> here to get goal number six. Face off, kept in there by Conway. Had to extend to get a stick on that one. Into the neutral zone. Scotty's got it. Quick balance check there. Yeah. Gets it across to Conway. Finds the stick of Vanny. Vanny scored a goal early in the night. Scotty. Tried, or yeah, Scotty dumps it in there. Mike Young. Now it's Brian Luther. Luther skates into the attacking zone, and we're going to get an offsides call there. I don't think the puck went out of play. It went out of the attacking zone there, so that's a close call. 15 seconds left in this one. So the increment are going to have to score quickly if Sam Allen's <laughs> going to get her correct, uh, correct prediction. I should start telling the team my prediction, so maybe they can help me out a little bit. Face off. Falls to Scotty. Conway, 10 seconds. Slap shot from Conway. Blocked away by Faya. Six seconds, five yeah. seconds, and that's going to be it. <laughs> and another Anchorman win here on Rick Hockey Fridays presented by Anchor TV. Sam Allen's going to skedaddle down onto the ice to interview one of the stars of the game tonight. Excellent performance all around by the Anchorman. They've been dominant, so we're going to step away for a brief moment. We'll be back with Sam Allen with an on-ice interview with one of the stars of the game. I'm Jared Ware. We're going to step away here during Rick Hockey Fridays presented by Anchor TV. down here with the number one star of the game, Vinny Tadino. Vinny, congratulations on your first shutout of the season. How did you feel? You didn't really see a lot of action today. You should have brought a book or something with you, but you made some good shots. How did it feel? It felt great. I mean, you know, the first one's always the hardest one, and I feel from here on out, I'll be uh, much more equipped for it. Everybody just loves you in here tonight, Vinny. All it's right. great. All right, how are you feeling going into the rest of the season? You're the number one goalie this year. You replaced Mark Bushy. How are you feeling about the team? The team's great this year. I think we're going to go all the way. We're going to win the states again. Um, we're not going to get many losses this year either. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm Sam Allen for Jared Ware and the rest of Anchor TV. This has been Rick Hockey Friday.